what is the cube root of a thousand here? So let's let's so let's answer that here. Um, and it's asking it's asking what is the cube root of one thousand? So I want the cube root of one thousand. Or is that asking, is asking what is the cube root of a thousand here? So what we can do is we can actually rewrite this as um, um, with a, with a term, right? We can say the cube root. So if we know a square root of a thousand looks something like this, a cube root is something if you stick like kind of like a three in the in front of the in front of the uh, or before this the the kind of root kind of sign here that makes it a cube root. So similarly, a square root is something in terms of it's the same number times the same number equals the uh, the number inside the square root. So in this case here, or I'm not going to use a thousand for example. So for example, if we're using a square root of 100, let's say, it's going to equal, I know that the square root of 100 here equals 10 because 10 squared is 100. So that's kind of my relationship between this and square roots. Or sorry, 10 squared, not 100 squared here. 10 squared is 100, right? So similarly, when we talk about cube root, we're talking about three numbers multiplied um, together to get uh, the same three numbers multiplied together to get uh, the number inside the root. So it's I'm asking, it's going to be some type of number cubed. So um, and it will equal the number, will equal 1,000. So I, I can say, I can rewrite this as, okay, what is x cubed equals 1,000, or what is this? What, what what does this mean? So so we can say that, um, and again, they have to be the same number, right? It has to be like one times one times one, or two times two times two equals some number here. So how how we can solve this problem is we could use kind of basically two um, two kind of uh, uh, different logics here. What we can do is we can do a trial and error for us to figure out what the cube root of a thousand is. So um, I'm looking at this cube root here and I'm looking at, okay, the two numbers that probably would go into this number or what would be divisible by would be either five or 10. And what we can do is we can take the cube root of those numbers and see if we get a thousand. So if I had, for example, if I had five cubed here, or I'll say five and 10 here, let's say our factors of a thousand, so what we can say is we're doing a trial and error method. So this is a trial and error. And what we can do is we can say that, okay, we can say that, um, what is five cubed? Well, five cubed would be five times five times five, which would equal 25 times five, which is 125. And 125 is not a thousand, so five cubed must not be the correct answer. And I'm gonna try 10 as well. So I have 10 cubed here. This is going to equal 10 times 10 times 10, which is 10 times 10 is 100 times 10, which is 1,000 here. 1,000 is actually my the, 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 the number inside the bracket. So therefore, it is, it is 10 cubed here, right? So therefore, I can say that, therefore, 10 cubed equals 1,000. So therefore, the cubed root, so I can cube root both sides here. Um, so I can take the cube root of both sides and then I would get 10 here. It would equal the cube root of 1000 here. And this here is my correct answer. So the answer here is 10. The cube root of 1000 here is 10. And what they did was they kind of did the same thing here. So they kind of used trial and error to figure out that 10 times 10 times 10 equals 1000 here uh, to the power of 3. And then they just took the cube root of both sides here. So this solution here is correct. Good analysis as well.